Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add motion blur to your text. Now, a lot of the times when you see animated text with motion blur, it was created in After Effects, but I'm going to show you how to do it in Vegas specifically. So to start you off, let's just drag in some default text right here and then rename it. Alright. So what I want to do is I want to make this quicker, so I'm going to shrink this down to about 5 seconds. And once we do that, that's perfect. Now I'm going to animate it. Let's just say at 2 seconds. It's going to be in frame for, for two more seconds, and then it's going to fly out of frame. So I've added keyframes right here. So the final keyframe, it's going to be over here to the right. Let's make it fly far to the right. Okay. And the opposite, the first keyframe, we make it fly far in from the left. Here, let's just say it starts coming in there. How on that. So, basically it's going to fly in, slow down, then fly out. Let's see what that looks like. Perfect. So one thing I'm noticing is my project's in 29 frames a second. We're actually going to put that into properties. We're going to make it 50 frames a second. And disable resample. Hit apply, hit OK. Let's see what this looks like again. So you can see it's very high frame animation. So we want to give it motion blur. We don't want it to look like this. We want to make it look a little more cinematic or realistic, however you want. The easiest way to do this is on your keyboard, hit Control, Shift, and B. And that brings up this video bus track down here. And what we can do here is add motion blur. If you right click on the track, insert remove envelope, motion blur amount, this little line comes up. We can drag this to make it a little easier to see. Now this little line is the motion blur length. So this is basically fading the frames forward and back this many seconds, two seconds, three seconds, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can see it's making it much blurrier for sure. So what we can try is about, let's try number two. And then so we can see what it looks like. You can see some, you can see the motion blur is added for sure, but it's not blurry blurry, it's just framey. If we want to make it blurry, if you right click here again and then hit insert move envelope and do video super sampling this little orange bar appears and what you you could do is drag this one up a little bit that'll start multiplying the motion blur length which will make it look a lot better and a lot more realistic the best motion blur one I found is right around the number four so let's see what that looks like that looks really good to me see I'm stopping it and you can see the blur there's still some blur there blur there blur there you can see that's all simulated and that's perfect so this does vary for different projects this specific setup where it's two seconds for the motion blur length and four for the super sampling that's not going to work for every project this is project specific so play around with it these are the settings i came up with that look the best for me right now but i just wanted to give you guys the introduction on how to do it just in case you didn't know how and so there you have it hey everyone thanks for watching that video if that helped you out at all or if you liked it don't forget to hit the like button comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.